Hello everybody and welcome to C++ Made Easy Tutorial number 9. Now we have previously learned about while loops and for loops. Now we're going to be learning about do while loops. And I have never ever 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 used do while loops in any of my programs because I figured out how to solve problems without do while loops. I just use while and for loops. But it's possible to do that but I guess do uh, do all loops will become. I will need to use them later on in my game programming stuff. It's just that I don't think about using do while loops. I just think about while and for loops because they're the most common. But it's still good to learn do while loops because you may need them. Who knows? It's always good to learn something. So as we see in a normal for loop, it checks if the condition is true, and if the condition is true, then it does what the argument under it does. And same with the while loop. It checks if the condition is true, and if it is true, then it does a statement below. A do while loop is different. A do while loop goes through the loop once, and then checks if the condition is true. So this one checks if the condition is true first, then does the rest. But the do while goes through the loop first, then checks the condition. And this might not make real sense to you until I show it to you. So then the syntax is do, the braces, and you put while, and then your condition. So count, I'll copy the one um, from the while loop above. So this is basically saying if the integer i, the counter is equal to 1, and it's saying if i is less than count, but they're equal. So this function won't happen. This is saying if count is not equal to 1 but count is clearly equal to 1 so this statement will not happen because the condition isn't true now if I do this number then this will it will show number once and I will check the condition so it will be like wait count is count is equal to 1 that means I should terminate it but what a do while loop does it will start up here do everything here then check the condition so I'm gonna prove this to you oh you gotta remember the semicolon to end there and oh you'll notice my command prompt is smaller just because I changed the font size of my whole computer but anyways you see it says number and to prove it's not from any of these functions I'll put numbers here just to prove that it's different see it says numbers and the reason is because it did the loop then it checked if the condition was true and the condition was, wasn't true so it just exited the loop so that's the basics of do while loops now we're going to be learning about how to put um the these loops together to make a program i'm just going to be using the for and while loop but we're just going to be making a little neat program it's not anything special but it's it's getting practice right so i hope you like this tutorial and bye